to Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke with your your man, my man, our man, Mystic Eight on the plate. Here we go. Uh, how you feeling, turd burglar? You little burglar of turds. Seems to be about to fall over. Yeah, well, A, you don't have legs. B, you're a turd burglar. C, I don't care. You need to evolve. <laughs> That's terrible. I should care. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Calm down. Youngster Joey. He sent out the Rattata. The Rattata. Alright, Turd Burglar. You, you see that? You see that friggin' other kid's scooter? Yeah, alright, get back. Let's do this, Chomper. You, you the real deal. Let's go ahead and get that defense drop. And scratch. And people say that using gra Leer is stupid. Oh, it's useful. It's very useful. Oh, I'm out of Pokemon that I can fight with. Sent some money to my mom. Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. Okay. Actually, it's good to have those because uh, those are some actually fairly challenging battles. I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle or just talk about nothing. Yeah. Uh, those, those extra battles are actually really good, though, because they have quite a bit of, uh, XP that is, is, uh, dealt to you when you, when you defeat them. And they level up, like, they get better, so it's not always the same battle over and over again. Yeah, well, good for you, you turd. You burglar of turds. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. What? That's not... Uh, whatever. Youngster Mikey. MC Mikey. Uh, you know, that movie wasn't great, but it also wasn't as bad as everybody said it was. Or said it would be. All right, Chomper. <clears throat> Let's show these punks what for. Get that rage going. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm trying to get Turd Burglar leveled up. And he also has a level 4 Rattata. Alright, chumps, get back in here now that, uh. Now that Turd Burglar has seen. Oh no, he has Tail Whip. Well, butts. Dang, this Rattata's way better than Joey's. Or at least he's using better moves. Um, I don't really feel safe at that level with the friggin' Tail Whip, so... We're gonna use our first potion of the game. Uh... And I almost got its full value. And that is game. Oof. You smart little mouse, you. Dang. Alright, Mikey. You actually got some skill, brother. Turd Burglar reached level 5. Too bad it evolves at level 7. That's strange. I won before. Yeah, probably because you faced somebody with a level 4 Rattata. 
Alright, let's see here. Uh, I think I can make it to the next. That is not what I meant to do. I think I can make it to the next town, though. Uh, yes, good. Okay. Just because I didn't mean to actually run across that, and splitting XP on a level 2 Pidgey is not worth it, as I've as I've noted. She's not a trainer, so I don't have to battle her. In fact, I can't battle her. A wild Pidgey appeared. Yep, yeah, well... Too bad I'm not interested. Alright, bug catcher time. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Bug catcher Dawn sent out Custer Pie. And once again, turd burglar in the front can't do anything. All right, Scooter. Let's let's give you a test run. See if you can handle this Caterpie. Yeah, a string shot. Okay. Okay. Not against this. Let's see. Go ahead and give you the little whip whip. I'll lower your defense so that I can get a decent hit on you. Yeah, boy. Tackle time. How's your tackle look? Oh, jeez, that did four damage. Mine did considerably more. Okay, so I'm in the lead on this, and they just wasted a string shot. I'm already slower than them, so they're literally just wasting moves with that. So, yeah, I won this battle. Yay, Scooter! Good going, Scooter. Alright. And is that enough to level? Nope, that is not enough to level my scooter, but that's okay. Switch to Turd Burglar. And then we'll uh Well we'll see what this uh this Caterpie's level is. Eh, same as the last, so I can go switch to sock sock puppet. Let's go, sock puppet. Let's give you a little bit of time to shine. Also, you need some XP, so... Yeah, Foresight's not very useful here, so let's just go straight to the tackles. Alright. So, he did all of three damage to me. Uh, looks like I did a little bit more damage, and they're wasting their time with String Shots, so... Get scrunked, Caterpie. Alright, and last but certainly not least, we're gonna use Bung Paka Bung Scratch again. Because I have no alternating movesets right now. Alright. Good job, Sock Puppet. Bud get your down. Arg, you're too strong. Calm down. Okay, well, that's done there. Um, I think... Yes, this is a new route, so... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Turd Burglar, because... Useless. Let's get, a. Uh, Let's get Chomper in here. Yeah, Chomper can take anything that gets dished out at him, and... How you feeling, Chomper? You wanna try and catch something? Blankly staring in this direction. Yep, we're gonna call its name. 
Your Pokemon seems so happy. He's so happy. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, first Pokemon of this route. Ah! Species Claws. I'm calling it now. So, I... If I knock it out, I can't catch anything else. But as long as I run away, I can catch something else here. So long as it, I do not have any of its alternate line. Yeah, jeez. This, this Caterpie is just following me around. But I'm still proclaiming Species Claws. I don't care. I already have a friggin' Metapod and I don't want to deal with it. Unfair nonsense. Alright, come on, give me something different. I don't- yes, there we go. I don't mind Pidgey. Pidgey's- Pidgey is solid. Man, getting some good at Pokemon action in today. Let's use Scratch. Utilizes the better stat, but it doesn't have stab, so... Woof! Um... Well, honestly, I could probably take another, uh... Take another one of those without worrying about it, but, uh... Woo! That... That... Is a hard-hidden Pidgey. Alright, we got ourselves a Pudgeons. You know what? Yeah, we'll stick with Pudgeons. I like it. I like it a lot. Pidgey's data was added to the Pokedex. It usually hides in tall grass. Because it dislikes fighting, it protects itself by kicking up sand. Yep. Sticking with that. Pudgeons it is. Aw, yeah, words and stuff. Okay, and let's grab this item, see what we got. I'm a little sad that we didn't get a bell sprout here because that means we won't be able to trade for an onyx. But I can, however, catch something in here. Most likely, I know what it is, and I still got plenty of time. So let's just go ahead, get in here, and catch us a aminal. And survey says it is a zibbit. Every time with the zibbits. Okay, so, uh. I'm a little leery of using Scratch because that did. that does a lot of damage. Rage is pretty weak though, so let's use Rage. Hopefully. Okay. And it used Leech Life, so, yep, can't use Rage again. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and use a Pokeball, see if we can catch this here bat, this bat of the zoo. I already have a name picked out for this, because I name almost all of my first zoo bats this. Oh, God. Okay, so just because I don't want to deal with it, <laughs> go ahead and heal Chomper. And then... I think that'll negate my Rage build, so that I'll be back at square one with Rage. S nope, it did not. Oh, man. I can't attack this thing. It will die. Um. Sock Puppet, get out here. You can handle a hit. At least one hit. Oh yeah, you, you can handle this idiot.
All right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna gonna be doing this. Because he attacks first, so he gets the life gain first, and then I get my attack out. Alright, let's try the Pokeball again. Because I actually really, 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 really like Crobat. Crobat's great. Yes! Alright, so now I've got a Zubit. Got myself a Zubit. His data was added to the Bogodex. While flying, it constantly emits ultrasonic waves from its mouth to check its surroundings. Like a real bat. Give it a nickname. Of course we're gonna give it a nickname. Why wouldn't we give it a nickname? So like I said, I'm going to nickname this... Zubat. The... Same, uh, the same nickname that I use for almost every single one of my new Zubats that I pick up. Sometimes I call them Batman and Bruce, but I'm gonna just stick with, uh, Batty in commemoration to one of my favorite actors of all time, Robin Williams, who did the voice of Batty in the movie Fern Gully. So, there's that did done darn, and when we get back, when you come back, I will be picking up this this apricorn. We'll see what it's called. Uh, I already know, but you will see what it's called. You probably already know, too. Point is, we'll be back. We'll be picking this up. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out uh, some of my other videos. I recently finished up a Star Fox 64 playthrough, uh, a once-through playthrough. Uh, I may be doing a second a second run, uh, but that's just because I really like that game. It was a lot of fun, and I've had a little bit more practice, so maybe I'll do better. Uh, anyways, go check that out. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on all those. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. But it's